What's going on everybody? It's Little Drendel here, coming at you with a Warframe video. It's Friday, December 29th, and for P on PS4, Barokatir is showing up on Eris's Quipper Relay. Now in order to get here, you're gonna need, gonna need to be Mastery Rank 8, and you will have had to make your way all the way out here. Otherwise, you're gonna have to be Mastery Rank 8, and have somebody bring you here. So, let's go and see what Barakatir has to offer today. He is here until Sunday, 8 a.m. Central Time. So, Eastern, it'll be 9 a.m. Mountain Time, 7 Pacific, 6. So, let's go and take a look. Extend an invitation to you. My latest collection of choice items from the void is now available for viewing. All right. So he has the sets of an artist blueprint, which he always has with him. Three day affinity booster, dragon mod pack, falcon mod pack, Katir sentinel mask, 10 Katir fireworks. So a pack, you know, a 10 pack. The pet. Pet pedest pedestal prime, so a prime pedestal. <laughs> Katir Solstice Siandana, the Zanuka Hunter Beacon, Stalker Beacon, Grustrag 3 Beacon, Pyra Sugatra, Nexus Gene Masking Kit for your Kavat, the Xyphos Prisma Skin, Katir Foros Leg Plates, Katir Foros Shoulder Plates, Katir Foros Chest Plates. Prisma Angstrom, Prisma Tetra, Shell Shock, High Voltage, Voltaic Strike, Jolt. Oh, hello! Primed Fever Strike, a, n a new primed, a new prime mod for melee weapons. Nice. And Katir Tribute Glyphs. All right. So we have the electric dual the the electricity dual stat set here. We have primed fever strike. Prime fever strike being the newest mod. All right. So why don't we take a look at the Prisma Angstrom? As you can see, you need to be Master Rank Four to be able to to acquire and use this gun. Crit chance of 10%, crit multiplier of 2, fire rate of 2 per second, magazine of 3, reload of 1.8, status chance of 10%. It's a charge shot with a blast element of 425 damage. Not bad. Then you have Prisma Tetra, or Tetra, however you want to call it. Master rank 4 required. Crit chance of 10%, two time crit multiplier, fire rate of 7.08, magazine of 60. So it'll take about eight, a little over eight, about eight and a half seconds before you use up your entire magazine. Reload at two seconds, 15% status chance. It's an auto fire with seven impact, 28 puncture, no slash. All right, so what do I recommend for everybody and what do I recommend you stay the hell away from? All right. Well, th the definite pickup's going to be this right here, the primed fever strike. Because for for the builds that that will use corrosive vir and viral and for those that like to use the gas, the gas element, I know there are some that will use the gas combination against the infested. This is going to be an absolute must-have because this is actually much stronger. This is actually stronger compared to Fever Strike itself. Then number two, 
I would re the number the second recommendation. So pri priority number one, Fever Strike. That's number one. Number two. Mm, this would be is gonna be kind of tricky just because I believe right now I believe there's a there's a way you can actually acquire these stat these dual stat mods. So by the time this video airs, I'll have I'll have an in the, either in the description box or as a com, as a pinned comment how you can acquire these mods. Um. So right now the so depending on if there's a way or not. If, if there is a way to acquire these, and these will be lower on the totem pole. So, so, Prisma Angstrom. This will be the second time the Prisma Angstrom has popped up in Barrel In Barrel merchandise. So, this would be one you definitely sh should pick up to master. Prisma Titra. So, so, again, let's do a quick recap. Prime Fever Strike, number one. If there if there is a way, these will be lower in regards to acquiring these. So if there is a way to acquire the dual stat mods without buying them, uh, you know, through missions, then Prisma Angstrom will be number two. Number three will be your Prisma Tetra. It's an okay weapon, but it's kind of more mastery fodder in a sense. But if you manage to get a decent ribbon mod that you that would allow you to amp this up, then knock yourself out with it. Now, number three. Well, next to that would be well, it'd probably be a tie because then you we the have the beacons because I know there are people out there that are trying to hunt the the stalker, Groove Strike three, and the Zanuka hunters. For whether it's Zanuka's what the Zanuka Hunters Brock not Brock Tetron parts the Groove Strike Three's Brack parts and the Stalker's weapons, so we could probably kind of put it probably put Prisma Tetra beneath the beacons to a degree. All right, for those of you Fashion Frame Hunters, after the beacons, if you haven't acquired like Pedestal Prime. The, the the sentinel the sentinel parts the Ciondana, the chest the the um, foros pieces the prisma skin and the gene masking kit and even the sugatra for your melee weapon those are going to be next on your list at, to collect now what i recommend you stay away from don't bother with the affinity booster in my opinion, unless you're really desperate, because there are, you could easily like if you if you really, if you do good at grinding out prime stuff, you could acquire platinum and get better versions of affinity boosters out of the marketplace. The dra the dragon and falcon mod packs you also stay away from because you really for fi 500, 500 plus a hundred grand for just to show you. Yeah, roll the dice to get a five pack of mod with two guaranteed rares. You know what? You got you guys would be better, much better off just work working with friends and getting the mods you're looking for. Same for the Falcon mod pack. Falcon mod pack is a lower rank than the Dragon mods. Don't bother with it. The Katir tribute glyph I forgot to mention that'll be al along the lines of the fashion framers, and then. Now, in priority for the dual stat mods, I know it's going to vary for people, but I would say go for those of you that have the user for shotguns, probably have the shotgun one at the top of your list. For rifle users, have the rifle at the top. And then after that, have your pit, the pistol, and then melee. Or vice versa, depending on how you have it set up. So, and the Sands of Anars Blueprint, acquire that if you have not gotten, like I said, if you have not been able to get, well, if not, I can't say if you haven't been able to get it, it's if you haven't started the Anaros quest, that's how you do it. Next time I'll have something you'll want, I'm sure of it. 
So that's all I got for you guys. So if you guys found this video to be helpful, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.